Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Hang on just a sec. Had to get, had to get a sip of my coffee. Anyway, uh, over here on our Facebook group, you can see it right here. Um, and you need to join us here if you want to watch some of these videos that I put up just there. But anyway, on this uh, Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann, the group, uh, I had a person ask, and her name is Sharon, how do I convert a JPEG image, J-P-E-G or J-P-G image into an SVG to cut it? So I said, okay, Sharon, I'll do you do a uh, video to show you that. So I'm going to go to new and I'm going to replace what's here. And the first thing that I did was I came up here and not to that first. I came here and I found a page that said free printable coloring pages for adults. So I figured for personal use, it would probably be okay to use this. And I just scrolled down until I found something that I liked. Now I've done this a couple of times, so you're going to see it a couple of times. Oh, I'll just pretend. Uh oh, where did it go? Oh wait, there was a link that I wanted to click up here. <clears throat> right here, Mandala Coloring Pages. Okay, and then I scrolled down and this is where I found the one I really liked. But you can find an image anywhere. I thought this guy was so cute. So I clicked on him and that made him much bigger. And then I right clicked on him and said save image as. And I went to the folder where I'm saving things and I happened to be doing it in my downloads folder and in Cricut Ideas. So this is him. I've already done it, but let's pretend I haven't. And I'll say save. And when I say save, it's going to ask me, do I want to replace the one that's there? I'll say yes. Okay, so that guy's done. So sh you may think that you can just come right into Cricut Design Space. <clears throat> excuse me. And upload an image. Ignore those ones that are there. Go to browse. And this is the one I just uploaded or I just uh, downloaded actually, just saved to my computer. So I'm going to click on that one. And if I hover over it, you'll notice that it does say that it is a JPG file, JPEG. Okay, so let's see, what can we do with a JPEG file? If I bring it in here, notice it's one of the ones that I can do, the JPEG. And if I bring it in here and come over to complex, and then I click on continue. It comes in like this and I can come up here and select and erase things. And to be honest with you, I could just keep selecting and erasing all of this white stuff and I should end up with a an okay cut file, but there's a much easier way to do it. So if I just get rid of the background and say continue, the only th two things I can do is I can save it as a cut image and it's just going to cut out like this, just that outside edge. Or I can save it as a print then cut. And Sharon does not want it as a print and cut. So I'm going to cancel this. All right, and I'm going to open up Inkscape. Now a lot of you are like, ah, yikes, not that Inkscape, because it does look really frightening when you open it. Look at all this jazz. But you don't need to worry about all that. Just follow along step by step and maybe you want to take down some notes. So you just come up here to file. So in my notes, I'd write the word file and then a slash. And then I would put import and then a slash. And these are just my notes, how I would write it. And then I would go to the image. It is this one right here, remember? So I'd find the image. Then I click on open and this leave these buttons as they are. Just say, okay. All right, here's, I think he's so cute. So here he is. Now the next thing you're going to do is this. Come up to path, path, then move down here to trace bitmap. And a box like this is going to show up. So I'm going to, uh, I've already changed this. Sometimes it'll come in at your, with your last numbers. 
So I'll pretend like these are different. I only need, there's only two colors in this, black and white. So I can just, if I want to, put two here. I can put two down here. And I'm going to leave it as colors. I am going to make sure that the stack scans is set, although it's not that important with just these two. I'm going to tell it to remove the background. And I want the live preview. So if this doesn't show over here, you just click on live preview and it will. And then I'll say OK. And notice the word OK. When I click on it, it goes kind of a dim color. And then it comes back available when it's done. Then I can just X this box out. Now it doesn't look like it did anything, but it did. Now I have two images. OK, the top one is transparent. And you can tell that because you can see through it and see the lines through it. That's one way you can tell which one you want to save. You want to save the transparent one. Another way is if you double click on it, see all those nodes that come up? Crazy looking nodes. That's the one you want, actually. So if I come over here and double click on this one, all I get is a box like that. That's not the one I want. So I'm going to delete this one by hitting the delete key on my keyboard. And this is the one I want. And actually, that's all I have to do for this one, since it's just two colors. Simple. So now the only thing I do now is go to File, Export PNG Image. And what that does is it makes it come over here. And over here, it's important. I want to say I want to export it as and I'm going to export it. I guess I'll do it as cat2, and then you'll see that it's a different one than that one. Cat2. Notice it's coming in as a PNG, because I said export it as a PNG. I'm going to say save. And then you may think you're done. And if you come into Cricut Design Space, let's do this, and go to Upload, Upload an image, browse. OK, this is the folder that I put that in. And there is no cat 2. Where is it? Well, you didn't quite finish over here. And I promise you, if you don't do this part, you'll be so frustrated. So I think in a previous video, I said, repeat after me. After I say export as, I have to hit the green checked mark box where it says export. If I stop here, it won't show up in my folder. I tell it what to export it as, and then I actually have to click export. And now it's exporting it. Now if I come back to Cricut Design Space, and I go to Browse, there it is. Click on it, open complex if I want to, continue. It's going to come in huge like this. Um, but there's not going to be any cleaning I need to do. Look at those lines. Aren't they gorgeous? So I just go to continue. Now I can save it as a print, then cut. Or I can save it as a cut image. And this time I'm going to save it as a cut image. And I can put some tags over here if I want to. Say save. All right, so I'm going to upload him, insert image. And now you can see over here on the right hand side, he is a cut file. He's not a print and cut. He's awfully big, so I need to come down here in the bottom left hand corner and change this so I can grab a hold of these and make him smaller. Okay, and I want him to fit on a mat, so I want to make sure that he's less than, you know, 11.5 inches. But this is the way he would be. I would go to make it. And there he is. That's what you would go on a black mat. And this is what would cut out. That is the one that was saved, exported as a PNG from Inkscape. So I hope this helps. Let me know. Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And remember, I'm trying to get up to 10,000 viewers on YouTube because then I have a giveaway. So... See you again soon.